today's show. And I know it's been a while since we have uh, done a devotional reading. And that's what today's show is going to be about. And today's devotional reading is about storms in life. And if you, anyone you know, has uh, got storms they're going through in life right now, well, today's show is definitely for you or anyone that you might know. So I will begin the reading. And today's reading is going to be from Psalms 138.7. Though I walk in the midst of storms, I'm sorry, the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. Psalm 138.7. The Hebrew of this verse literally means to go on in the center of trouble. What descriptive words. And once we have called on God during our time of trouble, pleaded his promise of deliverance, but not received it, and continue to be oppressed by the enemy until we are in the very thick of the battle or the center of trouble. Others may tell us, don't bother the master anymore. Luke 8, 49. When Martha said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. John eleven twenty one. Jesus considered her lack of hope with his greater promise. Your brother will rise again. John eleven twenty three, And when we walk in the center of trouble and are tempted to think, like Martha, that we are past the point of ever being delivered, our Lord also answers us with a promise from his word. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. Although his answer seems so long in coming, and we continue to walk in the midst of trouble, the center of trouble in the place where he preserves us, not the place where he fails us. The times we continue to walk in seemingly utter hopelessness are the very times he will stretch out his hand against the anger of our foes. Psalm 138, 7. He will bring our trouble to contemplation, crushing the enemy's attack to cease to, uh, to fail. In light of this, what reason would there ever be for despair? The eye of the storm. Fear not that the whirlwind will carry you carry you, sorry everyone, carry you hence, nor wait for its onslaught and breathless suspense, nor shrink from the blithe of the terrible hail, but pass through the edge to the heart of the tail. For there is a shelter, sun lighted and warm, and faith sees her God through the eye of the storm. The passionate tempest with the rush, with rush and wild roar, and threatening of evil may be on the shore. And the waves be mountains, the fields battle plains, and the earth be immersed in a the lulge of rains. <laughs> that was hard to pronounce that one. Yet the soul stay on God may sing bravely its psalm. For the heart of the storm is the center of calm. Let hope be not quenched in the blackness of night. 
Though the cyclone a while may have blotted the light, or behind the great darkness the stars ever shine, and the light of God's heavens his love will make thine. Let no gloom dim your eyes, but up, uplift them on high. To face to the face of your God and the blue of his sky. A storm is your shelter from danger and sin, and God himself takes you safely within. The tempest with him passes into deep calm, and the roar of the winds is the sound of the song. Be glad and serene when the tempest clouds form. God smiles on his child in the eye of the storm. Wow, that was just another beautiful devotional reading and very uplifting, especially when we are going through these storms in life. And if any of you are like me, those storms seem to be quite a lot. And But there are blessings blessings in the midst of storms, everyone. And never, never forget that. I have many days, you know, the sun is bright and shiny, uh, shiny outside, but yet there's storms within. And when we put our faith and trust in Jesus, we can find peace within in the eye of the storm. And take it from me personally, everyone, I know about storms. And in time, I may share some of these storms when I feel more comfortable about talking about them. And each storm I've been through in life, Jesus brought me through it. No one else could, not even myself. So just from experience, I know personally, Jesus can be very reassuring and give you that calm peace. Storms physically, mentally, uh, spiritually. There are storms Christians face all the time. It's a battle. None of us are perfect. I by far am not perfect. I am what you see is what you get. But I love you all and hope you all have a wonderful week and had a wonderful weekend. So everyone, until we all meet again, may God bless you and God keep you. Hmm, <laughs> hmm.